Hey, this is Tim with Power Up Social Media. Today I want to show you how to add annotations to your YouTube videos. You're probably saying, what in the world is an annotation? Take a look at your screen. It's that thing that just popped up on the video. I'm going to show you how to add those to your videos, and it's very simple. All you have to do is go to your account name right here, and then go down to videos, and then pick the video it is you want to add annotations to. I'm going to scroll down and add them to this video that says why you need to upload videos to YouTube and Facebook for maximum exposure. You should actually check out this video. It's pretty cool. And thanks to annotations, I've added a link for you to click on. You can click on it now if you want to because it'll just open in another window, and you can keep watching this video. But anyways, I'll show you how to do that right now. So I'm going to go to here. There's edit info, edit video, insight, and then there's this little drop-down arrow. Click the drop-down arrow and go to annotations because that's exactly what we want to work on. This is how it's going to open. Your video is going to autoplay. We're going to go ahead and put that on pause. You don't want to do more than, I'd say, three annotations per video because they can get slightly annoying if you overdo them. I usually do two. One to get people to subscribe to our YouTube channel and then another one to link people to another video that they probably would want to watch because they're watching the video that is currently up. So instead of YouTube suggesting the next videos that they go to, I suggest the next video that you go to. This is how you add an annotation right here it says add annotation you can have a speech bubble there's an example on your screen right now you can have a note another example or you can have a title if you don't have cool editing equipment to make your videos you can add cool titles or you know really pop a domain name like I'm doing right now and use those annotations on your videos again this is very simple I'm gonna do a note and I'm gonna show people how to subscribe to our YouTube channel I'm just gonna do one for the sake of this video to keep it shorter rather than longer I'm gonna move this box where I want this annotation to pop up and I'm gonna put it right under where you can subscribe for the video and all I'm gonna do is do a little arrows up drawing attention to the subscribe button add subscribe now with an exclamation point, more arrows, and I'm also going to add a link to take them to our YouTube channel so they can subscribe there as well. There is an option to link to a video. I'm going to go to channel, and then I'm going to add our channel on here, which is YouTube slash Power Up Social Media. And I'm a terrible typer. Yes, I hunt and peck. It's pretty pathetic. And then I'm going to open link in a new window. So now there is the link right there next to the annotation, part of the annotation. And I'm going to shrink this up just a touch just to make it fit a little bit better. I'm going to change the color, which is another cool thing. You can change the font, make it bigger if you want to. Um, change the font period itself, the color of and then you can also change the background of the annotation in this case I'm gonna make it red just because it makes it pop right there and I'm gonna show you how this looks so we've just now added the annotation it's that simple you wanna save it and then you wanna publish and right here you can view your live video here I'm gonna click there so you can see this I forgot to show you how to lengthen the annotation but I can go back and show you that real quick too as you can see the annotation has now popped up right belie uh, below where you can subscribe and hopefully people are gonna to subscribe to our YouTube channel I wanna go back real quick and show you how to stretch out make the annotation a little bit longer pause this because I don't want to be talking over Joe here I want to edit the existing annotation go to subscribe now the cool thing is you can go back and change these anytime you want to so if you made a typo or if you want to you know change what it says to see if maybe it results in more clicks then go ahead and do that I'm gonna stretch this out we're gonna make this one a little bit longer as you can see it starts at about the three second mark and I'm gonna stretch it out to go all the way to 30 seconds now I'm just doing this as the example I don't really want to keep this subscribe now up for 27 seconds 
but I'm doing it just for the sake of showing you how you can stretch this out. You can go to 15 seconds, 17 seconds. You could go all the way to the end of the video if you really want to, but just for the sake of that, I'm showing you how you can change it. I say, you know, 10 to 15 seconds is probably long enough, so I'll do that and save again and publish and that is how you add annotations to your YouTube videos again you can link them to other videos within your channel and keep people going through a cycle of your videos very cool you should be using this it gets more views it's proven to get more views again that's how you add annotations to YouTube videos feel free to throw any questions my way Tim at powerupsocialmedia.com otherwise visit powerupsocialmedia.com for other great real estate social media tips and training have an awesome day